Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Feed the Beast Revelation server. And do you notice anything different? Do you notice anything different? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Well, right here, this little plant, this used to be where that, that big hill of dirt used to come to. That's, I've trimmed it back and trimmed it back and trimmed it back because I wanted more of a, you know, flatter space than what it's given me. And so it used to be at that height right there and way out here and then way out over here. And you can see where it, it, it went out to this space. Uh, so yeah, I, I wanted that I'll trim back. And then I decided it needs a little bit, you know, kind of some trees back here. So we got some uh, oak and let's say olive. Yeah, that's olive from rustic. And uh, that's the sugar maple leaf. Yeah, I, I totally remembered that <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, you know, getting some, some growth there and I decided to stick that there. It kind of like looks like it's all by its own. So that's kind of weird and I'm, I may change that. Anyway, in the last episode, one of the things I made was uh, plastic from, from latex. And I got some great comments from people. And I, I decided to, to mix this up just a little bit. Uh, over here, we got the, eventually when everything was done, I got the material stonework factory set up. And this one, yeah, this one will make the silicon for me. And it says, yeah, I need 150,000 or 100, 1,500 of these or 1,500 and then stop making more. And I decided that was so much fun. I made another one. This one grinds the cobble. Actually, I think it that makes cobble and then this whatever it ends up making glass for me i'm uh, yeah i guess it makes cobble so this then grinds it into gravel and then this one grinds it into sand and this one cooks it into glass there you go i had to figure out you know did i need to do something to harvest the cobble no that just happens and i told my detector here to to turn on the redstone if i'm under 10 stacks of glass and uh, that's been very handy because I I've been making lots of glass for various things and now I don't have to it just does it oh so very nice uh, over here I've got the latex processing unit I, I disassembled all that and tossed it away and I said ah, I don't think I'll ever need that again I decided I would try a few things because fun uh, one of the things that I wanted to try is I, I had this um, fluid conduit and people were saying there are upgrades within the industrial foregoing uh, mod that allows you to push and pull fluids and items too. And I said, ooh, why yes, there are. There are some mods that are not mods, but add-ons that allow you to, in this case, push and this pull, or no, it's the other way around. Yeah, this is the push and that's the pull. The only difference is that this is a sticky piston. So I'm um, thinking, oh, let's do that and see how that works. I'm thinking I'll do the pull rather than the push because that way I should be able to grab from both and piston. I actually have a craft for that. So go ahead and make me a pair of those. And then let's uh, slimy. Let's go ahead and make a pair of those. So now I should be able to make one. Oh, I need buckets. All right, I can make buckets. I can always make several buckets because buckets are handy to have. Two. All right. So do these guys stack? They do not stack. Aha. So this guy here, uh, this is pulling down. Uh, now, is this pulling f down from above me? Or is it pulling the direction is down and that's where it's going to pull from? I think it's pulling from down, which is not really good. Let's pull from up and put that here. And that should, yep, that gave me latex right away which is exactly what I wanted because there was some leftover latex in here. <laughs> and there it goes. All right, so that certainly works. Now I want to pull water from the side and that is south. So let's see if this will allow me to pull from the south. Give me water. Oh, 
do, do, can I only have one? That's no fair. What if I pull you out and put you in? Well, see, that works from the side, but can I have a second one? Oh, that's not, that's unkind. That's unkind that I can't do both. Well, poop. Okay, so in that case, let me get a push. That's not nice. All right, let's go ahead and make another piston. And maybe I'm, I'm uh, let's get two because you know, pistons are nice to have. Uh, let's go ahead and make that. Okay, so this is going to be a push from, no, this is gonna push down. All right, so, oh, you don't, you don't. See, I was expecting I could push down from this fluid extractor and then have the one in here pull up. And I would just, or from the west or whatever, I don't care. Uh, all right, so that's, that's less than useful, uh, which means I might as well just use my Ender IO conduit because I can do both the water and the, the latex from both. Stupid. All right, well, let's go ahead and tell this to, I'll, I'll let that uh, suck up all that. Anyway, uh, I've got um, some rubber wood here because uh, multiple people mentioned that you can do more latex with rubber wood than you can with just regular wood. But I think they're completely wrong because you can see there's nothing, well, okay, it's, it's there's nothing here five millibuckets but there's nothing coming into here and there's nothing coming into here and this rubber wood has been sitting okay <laughs> that's just draconic evolution placing it there now this you can see it's pulling in stuff did i move oh that's pulling from the side all right so that'll suck in the the, the stuff from above uh anyway that produced uh when i did a regular log it was just slightly over a thousand millibuckets of latex and this was like eight thousand millibuckets or almost so yeah the, these rubber woods are like eight times as as effective so definitely worth uh doing that and uh, i'm just gonna take you bump you to there let's grab this click and say always active <sighs> So this will pro automatically pull down from the top and uh, I've got extra bits that I don't really need at this point. That's, dis that's disappointing that I can't have both of these in at the same time. Can I have, see I can have two different ones but I can't have the same one in there. Well, poopy. Anyway, uh, I've got it set up so other people were saying, well, how come you didn't configure my XNet to automatically pull out of there, uh, out of the industrial or the, the processing unit? And, and that was because I didn't expect to be doing lots and lots and lots and lots of this latex. And so I said, I don't care. Uh, and again, once I am processed, uh, have processed this rubber wood, I, I will probably break all of these parts and stow them away. And, and you may ask, why are you doing that? And the answer is because I don't need to have machines sitting here doing nothing <laughs> and taking up tick. And so I will break down stuff that I'm not actively using. And uh, sadly, that cough you heard was uh, Mrs. The Duck Farmer. I'm sick. Yeah, she's sick. She got a cold. And, and she is doing her best not to give it to me because sharing is not caring. So anyway, you may, you may now that she's back at her desk, you may hear her coughing and snorting, which is not much fun for her. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I will break down many of these things that I don't need. Uh, these guys, you know, thinking about it, I haven't used these guys for a while. And we'll just peg them here. And uh, the compactor, I don't need you either. Uh, the painting machine, I've done several things with that, but I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, take them here uh the rest of these guys i'm using very consistent okay induction smelter you're not getting used very often all right so um but these these four get used constantly uh, especially these these two the they they get used all the time anyway um i i will like i said i will dismantle stuff that i'm not actively using so uh, i'm getting uh, latex from this blink 
latex. And the reason why I did that is I decided I wanted to go ahead and play a little bit with the industrial foregoing mod. And one of the things I was looking at doing, I have over there some, some uh, villagers and there's a villager trade exchanger and the server's rebooting in five minutes. Uh, and so let's go take a look at the villager trade um, man exchanger and uh, make one of these guys because I'm thinking that would be handy to at least prove the concept. I, I don't think I'm actually going to be running it continually because, you know, I've got lots of emeralds. Well, I have lots and lots of emerald ore, so I, I really don't need tons and tons of of emeralds. Uh, where's my emerald ore? That's uranium. The emerald ore is up oh, there. It is. So I've got almost five thousand blocks of emerald ore, and I can get a lot if I run it through the the sag mill. And over here, I have. Uh, oh, I just used some. So <laughs> I've got almost nine hundred uh, emeralds. Uh, this thing, the villager trade exchanger. Do you need power? Oh, that's just cute. <laughs> oh, and he even has a nose sticking out. <laughs> uh, oh, yep, yep, definitely needs power. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's going to receive stuff and go. All right, so if that needs power, let's take you, doink, and let's stick you over here, ba doink, and let's program the controller. Uh, this guy here. Let's give it, you know, I don't think it really cares which direction it's getting power and uh, let's uh, suck stuff out. All right, so that's coming from the, the top and so there's plenty of power here. Yep. Uh, now this one, eh, we'll do always active for right now. Uh, I need something to hold mobs or in this case villagers and uh, that's the mob imprisonment tool. That's, you know, th this is one of the reasons why I decided to make a bunch of plastic because it's making these things. And uh, one of the other things is, is you know, gas to tears. Gas tears are a pain to get, but I've got plenty of gas tears. But how do I get all those gas tears? Well, I come here, I grab a stack of these guys, and then I go, hey, could you give me a bunch of gas tears? Yep, <laughs> the answer is yes, they can give me lots of gas tiers. All right, let's grab, uh, I got two villagers here. What are you? Oh, you are my farmer. And looking at the farmer, I was thinking potatoes uh, would be a good trade, but you're not the one I'm gonna look at right now. I wanna look at this, this is a cleric. And the cleric says 36 rotten flesh. Well, there we go. I crouched and snagged him uh, the rotten flesh can I shift click whoops <laughs> he just got sucked away all right trade output trade input villager mob imprisonment tool let's not suck that away thank you very much mob there you are all right let's put you back in okay so it's 36 that will give me one of those so let's give it some rotten flesh. Rotten flesh, there's some rotten flesh. And exporter, let's grab one of you. How close are we to the one minute mark? So if I take this and tell it to export, it's starting to export the stuff. And by the time it hits, you know, 36 rotten flesh, it will give me an emerald and How's that for getting free emeralds with a little bit of a power, but also, you know, okay, it's fairly slow, but that's okay. Um, one minute before the server reboots. So this will go ahead and, and just in the background generate uh, emeralds for me out of rotten flesh. And why not? You know, I've got tons and tons and tons. Yeah, see, I've got uh, almost a thousand rotten flesh. So what else am I going to use rotten flesh for? I can't think of anything. All right, time to reboot. One server reboot later, and this is working along just fine. Uh, 
and I'm just going to let it run and process the rotten flesh because, you know, why not? And then I'll disassemble it because I really don't need it. Uh, how have you been doing? Yeah, so it's done six. Uh, I believe I was down to 898. Uh, anyway, so that's been processing that just fine. And, you know, like I said, what am I going to use the rotten flesh for? <laughs> I could make leather out of it uh, with the uh, atomic reconstructor. That's easily enough. You just stick it there and go, Bwarn! leather. Uh, I love that idea. Anyway, so that's going to go ahead and process there. Now, I have this guy here, and 16 potatoes is way easier to get than the, the 36 leather. Eh, eh, or rotten flesh. Come back here, you. Uh, but I'm not thinking I will do that because, one, I've got plenty of emeralds. I've got plenty of emerald ore. I don't need to use this, but I didn't want to build that because I hadn't built that before. And I would need the plant gatherer, which is not hard to make at all. You know, it's all simple stuff to do. But if we take a look at this... Uh, it can harvest pen pumpkins, melons, any tall mystical flower, which I think is very, very interesting. Uh, Netherwort, uh, ender lily. Ooh, ender lilies. Oh, wild berry bush from rustic, any crop from rustic, sugarcane, cactus, red orchids, crops from natura, and herbs from rustic. Okay, what's the difference between crops and herb? Anyway, uh, chorus plants, industrial hemp, Minecraft style crops, berry bushes from Natura, and Minecraft style trees. Oh, it'll harvest trees too. And slime trees. Well, that's a lot of good stuff there, but um, the pumpkin and melon, the sugarcane cactus, you don't need to replant. They will just, uh, you know, keep because they, they come off of either from below or from um, an, another plant. Um, but also looks like the nature and rustic plants don't need to replant. Oh, and the industrial hemp because it just takes the top off of it. Everything else needs to be replanted. That's a problem because if you're going to replant this stuff, then you need the sower. And that's another one. And yeah, you know, not hard to do, but that's going to be underneath, and the the the, the harvester is going to be off to the side, and you know that's more work than I really would want to do. Uh, plus, you know, again, I don't need the emeralds. Uh, if if I were to set up something like this for potatoes, I would probably use the the farmer. Let's see, from actually. Is it farmer? Yeah, the, the farmer from Actually Editions because it will replant uh, stuff automatically with the, the farmer. Now, it's not as big as you can make it with the the, the plant gatherer with all the add-ons on there. But, you know, having one device as opposed to multiple devices is, in my opinion, better for a server. So I would go with that. Anyway, uh, this guy is going to be put away because I am not going to make... Um, you can go with the other uh, villagers there. Stick that here, because uh, I'm I, yeah I have no no desire to to make uh, a big farm just for that. Uh, now other stuff that I want to do. Oh, so we did that. We did that. We did the village. Okay, we did all of those. Uh, what I do want to look at because I've got the uh, Bob. I've got the mob. <laughs> the mob imprisonment tool if i want to make more of that pink slime it makes sense for me to capture one of those um pink slime slime guys and then duplicate that in a mob duplicator i kind of like that idea so let's go ahead and make a mob duplicator and we'll grab this not the glass the tin gear and then let's go back to the, the duplicator, this guy, the frame. I should make a recipe for that. That was another thing suggested. Um, all right, so the mob duplicator, that's where you take your mob imprisonment tool, you plug it in there, power and essence will go ahead and spit out new mobs. But that requires essence. So that's a problem. Uh, for that, I need the crusher. And that's this guy right here. I, I've got the mob slaughter factory down below, and that makes uh, the liquid meat and the pink slime uh, fluids, but those won't give me 
drops, nor nor will they give me essence from the, the mobs. So I would kind of like to have uh, some of both. So let's go ahead and make one of these. I have no books. Okay, let's make a sword. Let's go ahead and make a pair of books. Actually, here, let's go back to the books. I've done this recipe far more than I've done this, mainly because I could make all of this from the wood, and I had lots and lots of string for the mob farm where I didn't have much by way of leather. And like I said, now I can get leather from rotten flesh. And also, I found where there are tons of cows in the mining dimension. Uh, was. <laughs> There's not a lot of those cows there because <laughs> I chewed them up a bunch. Anyway, back to the mob grinder. I need two of these gears. Yep, those really grind my gears. All right, so uh, mob crusher. Now, this I will take downstairs and I will need to pipe that, uh, the the essence. But I'll, I'll do that uh, later because right now, you know, grinding more mobs, eh, not all that interested. However... I would like to assemble some mobs. And in this case, the wither, I think, would be a lot more interesting to assemble and automate than what I've been doing. There we go, wither builder. Uh, you I'll do later. Uh, energy, let's grab some conduits and just do conduits. Let's grab some of you and let's do a chest. And let's see, we also need some soul sand. Let's grab a, a stack of soul sand and uh, oh, and we'll grab some of you. And let's grab, actually we can make some blocks. Uh, chironite, chironite. Because these are witherproof. So let's go ahead and grab eh, two stacks. I think that's way more than I need, but let's uh, do that. Wee flying's faster. <laughs> so why not do that? Alrighty, so over here is where I have my manual wither maker. And you know that, that works out just hunky dory. However, it would be nice to have something that is a a little bit more automated and for that i'm going to put down the wither builder and as i understand it will place the wither stuff above it but one block above it so i need some power to this so let's go ahead and break these here okay you let's just move you down here because why not there you are are you saying where'd it go all right so that will go there and let's put the power like this and you need to extract always active doesn't need to insert and if we look at this it's got plenty of power and if we take one two three four of these yeah see it just went ahead and uh, placed them exactly how I wanted to know where they were in place okay so uh, let's break that and break that uh, we want to make sure that it has room for the skulls and room for the, the heads above the skulls. Get rid of some of these lights. All right, so now I can, you know, since it's a, uh, we'll just go ahead and put this below because I've got a lot of blocks here and I'm unlikely going to be using this chironite in massive amounts later so we will go with this do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. missed one. Oh, oh no i did need this over here okay i was going i put too many nope 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 don't place them wrong all right and that nice Okay, and the obsidian there can just stay there. That's fine. Boing. 
Okay, and then that. Now it would be nice to be able to uh, get, uh, put the stuff in place. So I'm going to, just for, for grins and giggles, let's put a chest over here. Now I need items. So let's go ahead and put item there and the chest there. <coughs> And then here's where I need to get lower down so I can access that. It's too hard to see it. Okay, so we're going to extract. Let's go ahead and extract always active on green and we're going to insert on red. So that's kind of a standard thing to do. You don't need that. You do power back and now Item conduit, item conduit, item conduit, item conduit, item conduit, item conduit. Click. No, I want to click. There we go. Uh, this I want to insert on green. And I don't have anything at this point that will suck stuff out. But I, I can do that. That That's pretty easy to do. Uh, hopper. The, the ender hopper is pretty easy to, to set up. I don't think... Think it's got like a range of four so I would have to move it put like a chest down there but anyway uh, let's take uh, three skulls one two three toss that got sucked in that got sucked in and it made the wither for me so now uh, the, the, the bad news is this can produce withers in great quantities, which is not necessarily nice on a server because, you know, <laughs> spamming the people like crazy is not good. Did I get, I got that and the wither ash and the infinity booster card. Okay. So this is a much more automated setup for, for harvesting withers. And I think I will break that and I can put a chest down there with a, uh, yeah, I can put a chest down there that will have the ender hopper on top and that will allow me to gather this stuff. And then I can, um, I can limit how many are made based on the number of skulls I put in. Yeah, I can sit there and put in the entire amount of, of soul sand and that's not a problem. But un until I put in three uh, skulls, nothing's going to happen. Oh, it only puts in just what you need. Oh, it already put in the soul sand for the next batch. That might get blown up. <laughs> that might get blown up from the, the, the wither. Uh, no, I, maybe not. Did I get anything from here? Um, let's grab these guys break that stop putting in stuff <laughs> give me that <laughs> I want to make sure I get all the bits in here okay yeah I would need to handle both the XP as well as the item drops just because you know you want to be nice on a server and not have those but that's some pretty fun things with industrial foregoing and better living through plastic I kind of like that. Uh, you know, there, there's tons and tons and tons of different um, items, blocks that, uh, tools, uh, I don't know what you call them, machines, there, that's a good word. Machines through uh, industrial foregoing. But uh, these are the ones that I looked at and saw were the most beneficial for me right now. And so we'll go with those. And I think they work very nicely. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, uh, having too much fun with plastic on the FTOG Feed the Beast Revelation server. And thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, that's a bad... Come on. Wave better. That's a better wave. <laughs>